Today, Phone Scoop is going to take a quick look at the new LG NV3 for Verizon Wireless. The NV3 is the latest in a series of compact messaging phones from LG for the Verizon network, and this one makes some pretty big improvements over the last one. Perhaps the biggest and most important improvement is the revised uh, front fascia of the device. It has a much larger uh, external screen here which makes it a lot easier to interact with the uh, menus on the phone when it's closed. Also it's been given a proper d-pad for uh, interacting with the phone and it's uh, quite easy to do so using this d-pad which has great travel and feedback and feels very good under the thumb. The dial pad has also been revised a little bit. It's been uh, given a little bit less real estate on the front of the phone uh, so that the screen can have more real estate. But this in no way affects uh, the usability. The uh, keys have great travel and feedback. And, um, you know, it's just a very solid build quality. The whole front face has, uh, has very good buttons and controls and feels very good to use. Taking a quick spin around the rest of the hardware, on the left side we have a dedicated camera key as well as the uh, the volume toggle here on the bottom you have the hatch covering the micro USB port on the right side we have a micro SD card slot and a two and a half millimeter headset jack uh, this would be one of our few complaints about the hardware we wish it had a three and a half millimeter headset jack and on the back, of course, you can see the new 3 megapixel camera with flash, although the camera does not have autofocus. Opening the phone up, we have a full QWERTY keyboard here and a slightly revised uh, directional pad set of controls over here. The button layout is about identical, but the D-pad itself has been refreshed and feels, uh, feels nice under the thumb. The keyboard in general has a good feel to it. The keys are nicely defined and you can uh, easily find them with your thumb as you uh, swipe the, your thumbs across the keyboard. And the keys have good travel and feedback uh, for, um, you know, for, for typing. You can definitely tell that you've pressed all the different, uh, different keys. Of course, we've got stereo speakers here and a nice, generously sized screen on the inside. It's a 2.6 inch screen. So um, let's take a quick look at the menu system. Diving in real fast, we've got the standard Verizon wireless set of menus here. Opening up any of these um, menus will we'll revert it to the uh, tab system here and we can scroll sideways and see all the different uh, settings and features of the phone. So let's take a quick look at some of how these features work. Perhaps the menu that you'll use the most is the Media Center, probably followed quickly by Messaging. The Media Center is where you're going to find most of your, uh, your fun stuff, basically. The, uh, your pictures, your music, uh, the mobile web, and so on. Um, it has the uh, same user interface that Verizon's been using on its feature phones for some time, so no real big changes there. But you can see it comes with uh, Vcast Music and Rhapsody. We'll uh, go in here and, and look at the one song we've downloaded. Uh, which we uh, did earlier today. Downloaded a new Green Day song and, and it uh, sounds pretty good. Has a revised set of options here. We can go to the home screen and listen while we're doing some other things. Um, can't do too many different things but at least we can listen to music while we're browsing around the phone. If we go back to uh, the, uh, the media player we'll go to now playing. You'll see the options menu also has a uh, sound effect which is another way to uh, say equalizer so um, pretty neat little user interface here on the equalizer you can hear it um, change the sound as we uh, go from uh, from EQ to EQ so here's flat and then we'll go to the concert hall sound you can hear it's added some reverb and some echo in there so you know, not the most revolutionary feature in the world, but at least it's something a little bit new for uh, the music player. We'll jump out and go into the uh, camera real fast. We will uh, take a picture. And uh, here's the uh, camera. Uh, works just like many other cameras do on the Verizon Wireless Network. Uh, we've got some nice options here, including uh, lots of different adjustments to the camera itself. And um, my favorite is this new shot mode. We've got uh, several different things in here. We've got smile shot. We've got the ability to take panoramic shots. Uh, we've got this intelligent shot thing, 
which alters the way the uh, brightness and color saturation is recorded by the phone. And uh, we also can do uh, dual uh, screens, which let you um, have the viewfinder on here active as well as on the back, uh, or excuse me, the front face of the phone. So after we've taken a picture, we can go to the MyPix gallery app here. And uh, you can see it's just like any other uh, Verizon phone with a gallery application, so no real big changes there. About the only uh, new thing I was able to find was this editing feature. We've got some new uh, things we can do here. We can zoom, rotate, crop, um, put in some different effects. We can stick in funny faces, uh, beautify your face, uh, and uh, put in a frame or even put a different stamp on the, uh, on the picture. So uh, that's taking a quick look at the multimedia. Of course, uh, we'll uh, look at the browser real fast uh, because that's always something that people like to do with their phone. Of course, it's going to load the new uh, Verizon dashboard here um, that is on lots of its LG phones. You can see we can cycle through all sorts of different content here supplied by Verizon. And uh, it uh, will eventually get us back to the web. We can jump in there and uh, we'll see how it does here in the basement, uh, pulling up the web over uh, EV, even though we have uh, no signals for 3G. So there is the uh, Verizon Wireless homepage. One thing I really like about the browser is this new navigation panel here. It's like a little toolbar. Uh, and you've got lots of different things you can do here for, uh, for navigating and controlling the browser, which is uh, kind of a nice feature to have. And, of course, we can use the main menu to control the settings of the browser itself, uh, the way it looks, and so on. So, browsing was pretty snappy, no complaints there. So, that is a real quick look at the LG NV3, a very capable and compact messaging device for the Verizon network.